Hello, this is a quick training video on how to copy a listing using the new Matrix MLS. First thing you will need to do is go up to Input, and from here you'll click Add New. And then pick the property type or form that you want to start a listing on. If you're copying a commercial listing, you can still copy it to a residential or land, so you're not prevented from the property type that it was before. The copy listing function is actually the middle button up here at the top of this blue bar. Click copy. Easiest way to copy it is to just type in the listing number of the property you're going to copy. Or you can use this search window down below and search for that property. Okay. Once you've entered the listing number to copy, you will be taken to the input form with the majority of the data fields already entered for you. Some of the ones that you may need to adjust or be, be mindful of and put in correctly will be your list date, an expiration date. Also to be mindful of the taxes. If you're copying a listing that has been expired two years, you want to make sure that you're putting the correct taxes for that tax year in the system. Most of the other information will still be uh, retained there from the listing you copied from. Your remarks, confidential remarks, and virtual tour information um, may have to be re-entered again. Uh, it will copy old virtual tours over, so you probably want to delete those that any that are on there. If the owner has changed, you may want to remove that and put in the correct seller or owner's name. Also adjust your buyer broker fee. Now before you can enter the listing um, and submit it, you are going to have to add photos. So if I were to validate the listing now, I can see here that the listing cannot be submitted as active when there are no listing photos. And I also need to remap the listing latitude and longitude. So I should be able to save as incomplete at this point. And then I will need to edit that incomplete listing. and choose Manage Photos. You can either browse your computer or camera and add the new photos you want. But for this step right now, I only need to add one. And I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of an, a link right here, an option that says click here to import photos from another listing. I'll type in that same listing number. Import photos. Select all the ones I want to use and hit Save. Now I can go back and under residential listing input and complete the rest of my listing information. And when you hit submit listing, it does um, either submit it or it will let you know that there are some additional issues. In this case, I need to remap the listing and put in a seller name. So remapping the listing. Since this address is not real, I will need to set a, a manual um, latitude and longitude in order to map where that property is. And then I will also need to put in a the seller's name. At that point, you submit the listing and it's active with one photo. Um, and thank you for watching.